What we have here is the two eels. Um, now yeah, they're sort of medium sized, they're um, nice and fat and uh, the process from live eels to this uh, is reasonably complex but uh, basically the, the quickest way to dispatch them is a, a very sharp axe to the back of their head which kills them and then immediately place them in a bucket and, and pour a, a sprinkle a cup of normal uh, iodized salt over them or, or just um, even just a coarse salt, uh, just um, sea salt. Uh, so that the salt, um, the purpose of the salt is taking the slime off so the, even though the eels dead, clinically dead, the, the body will release slime when it's, uh, uh, when it's contacted with the salt. Now, uh, they're a very slimy creature, and um, a lot of people don't like handling them, but uh, uh, that's, if you want to eat them, that's what you have to do. And um, certainly with the salt, uh, it uh, removes the slime, so you end up eventually with a squeaky clean eel. And uh, it's important to get rid of the slime, because in the smoking process, uh, the smoke needs to penetrate the, the skin. So uh, it can only do that with, uh, where there's no slime. So, uh, so these eels have been uh, uh, salted, de-slimed, uh, and then um, they've also been rinsed from there and, uh, and been left for... Um, normally you'd leave these overnight in the, uh, in the fridge uh, and, uh, and then they'll be ready for smoking the next day. So that's what we have here and they're ready for the smoker. So. Let's go and put them in. This is the normal oven with its uh, opening door and inside this racks where you can lie the fish. And uh, underneath where there would have been a warming drawer, um, it's been removed and uh, there's now a gas burner. So this is a long shaft uh, gas burner. Uh, which provides heat to the whole operation and um, if you are going to make one yourself make sure you get a long shaft one so you don't catch fire to your hoses um, so fire fire is a risk so uh, just be careful if you are making your own to make sure that it's in a safe place so we'll lay the um, the eels on the rack like this with the belly down so that the uh, moisture can drain out of them as they smoke. Just like that. And um, in fact, separate them because if they touch each other, they stick like one thing on earth. So here we go. Into there like that. Now I'll just get some sawdust and, or wood shavings uh, and place in the bottom. Here's some wood shavings. That's actually um, from the tree Kanuka tree, uh, but Manuka or Kanuka is the preferred one for a lot of people. So we'll get a shovel full of this and put it in the bottom of the oven. Two shovels is good actually. Give them a good old smoke. What happens here is the is the heat from the gas heats the, steel, heats the steel on the bottom of the oven and then which heats this in turn heats the sawdust so uh, and the sawdust smokes prolifically so uh, that provides the smoke and a little bit of heat to the fish now you can do any fish this way uh, we're doing eels today and uh, but you can smoke kawai or any fish from the fish shop actually there's no there's no issue there. So it's, it's very easy to do. So the main thing is to get the fish, uh, if you buy it from a shop, you can get the fish and just sprinkle salt on it and leave it in the fridge overnight so it absorbs some of the salt and then smoke it the next day. So it's not generally something you do on the same day. And, and what, what is best here is to 
get a stool, get comfortable, and sit beside the smoker to get to, and keep an eye on it. One for safety, but also um, also just to keep the temperature correct. Sure. Smoking now. Yeah. And we'll close the oven door. And uh, after a few minutes, what I'll do is turn the temperature down on the gas. So I'll turn one of the elements actually completely off. And you can see it, is, uh, it would reduce the heat by half. Um, so after the initial heat, uh, if you can keep that temperature as low as you can on the gas, and yet still produce smoke. So that's where you need to get comfortable and have a wee, have a, and watch it while it's happening.